a lot of my uh, time away. I'm gonna pick up the fireball, which, speaking of which, it's this boss that I mentioned. Okay, this boss, it has, you see the eyes that it keeps opening, you think that would be what I hit. But, what happens is he starts ejecting his eyeballs in that circular pattern, and then I have to hit the open eye sockets <laughs> from where the eyeballs have come out from. Those are my targets. And it's really hard to hit him because he keeps shooting out like this red, you know, alien bacon at me. So I have to keep dodging the alien bacon while hitting him in the eye sockets while I'm also dodging the damn eyeballs themselves that are going in a circular motion. It's not that hard to deal with. The problem is with it, it's, um, it takes a lot of time. And with a time limit, you're being rushed. And this is one of the only bosses that I end up getting low on time with usually. I'm usually able to complete it no problem, but um, I still uh, get low to the point where it's warning me that time is getting low, so I have to be uh, cautious and try to hurry up, but you can never hurry up when there's a time limit. Because if you hurry up, you're going to end up dying because everything is trying to kill you. Down to 30 some seconds left, yeah, 37 seconds left. And I just keep blasting, kill the killer bacon, watch out for the eyeballs, and just get as many shots when possible in, just because you're not going to have that many uh, opportunities. I think when I get down to 20 seconds left, it starts warning me about a uh, time limit. Yep, there it is. You can see it says hurry up at the top, caution and all that. Okay. But he's done with 15 seconds left, so I was able to still complete it, no problem. I only get, the only thing is I don't get much of a time bonus. But hey, I got a, an accommodation. Hey, I got a, a reward. Woo. I got a commendation. Okay, we're going to start off by going to the left here and grab this person. And go through this door first. You can either go to the left or right side first. It doesn't really matter. I choose to go to the left side first. Grab my laser gun. This one has a lot of the pods with the, you know, ejecting the enemies. And of course, they're also firing at me. So, do a little bit of the pain to dodge. Go down here and grab this person. Walk over here and grab this one. Now we're going to go back to where we entered this little area from through that door. And go back through the door to uh, that main area where we started from. Got to watch out for any of the aliens that are also trying to get me and shoot me at the same time. Now I'm going to head to the right side. That big middle area is where we're going to be heading after we go through this uh, right side door. Grab that person outside the door and head inside the door. Work my way through the area. Grab this person. Of course, making sure I dodge every alien possible. Good thing is, they're, they're rat relatively slow, so you can dodge them pretty easily. The only thing you have to watch out for is their little bullets that they shoot out. Once you grab that person in that le lower left corner, we're going to head outside of the door area again. Now we're going to go up that big middle area I mentioned earlier. Watch out for everybody. And pretty much what we're going to do when we get up here is we're going to do the same thing we just did uh, down there. Grab this person and I'm going to head to the uh, left side and enter the door on the left. Um, because the right side is my exit where I'm going to need to go after I collect everybody. So it makes more sense to head over this side first and grab the two people that are located in this area. Work my way down. Watch out for any projectiles. Grab this person. I'm going to keep the laser uh, on this boss. I don't really know if the laser does less damage or not, but you know what, I'm just going to keep the laser on this boss. Uh, the bo this boss in particular is pretty easy, the dodge is patterned, so I'm not really concerned about all that. Plus I think the laser can fire a little bit quicker, but I, I probably the flamethrower is probably better overall. Just because it, it has a shorter range, but I think it does more damage than any of the other weapons. But I like the fact that the laser goes through a lot of the enemies, so I use that a lot as well. Okay, hey, here we go. Boss time. If you haven't figured it out, I gotta shoot him in the mouth. The easy thing about him is, if you're lined up with his mouth shooting him, his neck stretches upwards and fires the fireball. So you can usually be always out of his range by just being directly lined up with his mouth and firing in his mouth. If you can hit his mouth directly, you do damage, and you also know that you're going to be out of range in terms of that stupid fireball where he stretches his neck out. He's kind of a e really easy, pathetic boss just because of that real flaw that he has. 
he could have just fired the fireball straight and he would have been really effective as a, an overall enemy, but he's overall really easy then because you can just keep hitting him right in the mouth. Doesn't take too many shots to, to take him out here. As I gotta watch out for all the other red balls that are coming at me as well, but okay, he's done with a lot of time to spare this time. Rack up some more score for time bonus. Bonus points. And we're gonna head to round five. Where the time bomb is set, and rescue 12 uh, comrades. What a shock. Okay, start off by going up here and grabbing this person. You can you can get that person a little bit later, but just going to grab them now. And now I'm going to head to the right and head up this, like, diagonal pathway to find this person, which is also a dead end. So it's good to grab this person early. Watch out for these things. I don't know. They're, and they're obviously an alien, but they're, they're, uh, they're definitely weird looking. I'm not really quite sure what's up with some of the spawns that these aliens have. It's kind of uh, disturbing looking. Go in here and grab this person. Work my way over. And out of the room again. Now I'm going to head to the left where I could have grabbed that person again. You know, like I said, you can grab them right off the bat or you can grab them later. Head up this diagonal path. Grabbing this person, watching out for the weird spawning point that looks very, very wrong in every possible way. Work my way in here and grab this person. Continue heading south here through this other door. And grab the people in here. Okay, got up that one. Shooting the laser. Okay, now that we got that person, we're going to exit out of this area back through the other door that we came in and now we're gonna head to the right and back down this diagonal pathway and work my way south after a very long walk past all the rooms that we've already been into go down this uh, left uh, south uh, west uh, diagonal path grabbing that person work my way back up now head to the right and go inside this room. That per you saw a person there, which we're, we're going to be coming right back out of this room. And when we come out of this room, we can grab uh, that person. And we grab the flamethrower this level. Work my way back up. Out of the room and grab this person on over here. Head to the right. Watch out for the stupid aliens that are going to get in my way. But I can blast them with my f mighty flamethrower and take them out. Grabbing that person and heading in this doorway. We're almost done this level, as you obviously can tell. The last two ones are located in this one, and then up through one last door that also is located at the is also the location of the ending of the exit. So taking that pathway that I took, it gives you directly to the ending without any uh, real extra effort. This one is he has just shoot him in the face. He's the easiest boss in the entire game with the flamethrower. I mean, I didn't even get a chance to really talk, start talking about him, because he was already dead before I really got a chance to do anything. Time Bomb Set rescued 12 comrades. Okay, level uh, 6. The final level of the game. I was about to say level 12. No. No, 12 comrades in level 6. After I complete this level, you're going to see a weird, uh, a stupid text thing that they 